space, the final frontier. To explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Mission Control to Crew, Mission Control to Crew, are you receiving me? Over. Hey, up Mission Control, it's Jack here, receiving you loud and clear mate. This is Mission Commander Richard from Mission Control, how is the rover looking? Over. Ah, oh, it's all tickety bull mate, got Captain Teddy, he's just got a tie and a few more knots and we'll all be ready to go. Excellent, send the rover over to launch pad. We will be launching in T minus 30 minutes and counting. Over. Will do, sir, will do. Hey, up, Teddy, are we all ready, mate? No worries, pal, all sorted. Let's get cracking. This is mission control. The rover is in position. Commence pre launch sequences. Over. Hey, up mission control, Jack here, all in position, ready when you are, over. Captain Teddy, all ready, over. Pre-launch sequences, over. This is mission control, we will be launching in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. It's a bit shaky, a bit noisy and not outside at all. This is Mission Control, you're firing hard and looking good. See you on the other side. Ding dang, shallow walla ding dong, roger, over. Good to hear it lad, see you on the other side. Whoa, this ain't so bad is it Jack? Nah son, in a few hours we'll be... Oh no, what's that? Perseverance, this is Mission Control, we have a problem. I know we've got a problem somewhere out of control. What's going on? Perseverance, a huge solar f flare appears to have knocked you off course and compromised your systems. We're going to try and reset now and get you back online. Over. Stay strong. Whoa, whatever it is, please do something. Perseverance, can you hear me? Perse I've lost them. They're lost. In space. The solar flare appears to be dying down a bit, but we've lost contact. Oh no, I think we might have a time to panic now. All we can do now is hope and pray that they fix a problem and come back alive. Mission Control, out. What are we going to do, Jack? Oh, don't you worry, Teddy. We've got Beaver here. He's the best pilot in the agency. He'll make sure we're safe. Well, at least we've landed safe, mate. Where are we, Teddy? Well, got some good news and i got some bad news, Jack. Tell me what it is. Well, the good news is, we're in Mars. And? Well, the bad news is, we're not quite at a Jazeera crater. We're about 50 miles outside. And we've got to create across all this rocky terrain to try and get there. And we've had a bit of damage done. Oh, no. Oh, well. Well, while we're here, let's start getting on with a job, eh? Nah, stuff up, mate. I'm going to have a little rest first. I've just had a traumatic experience. I'm off. Off? 
What do you mean you're off? Where are you going, son? To see if there's a pub. Oh, well, in that case, I might just join you then. Fancy a wonder, be here for a week. Alright lads, we've been wandering around this terrain for over an hour now and we ain't found any sort of intelligent life or establishment anywhere. Let's just crack on with the job, find the rocks, fix the rover and get back to Earth as soon as possible. Agreed? Yeah alright, makes sense. I'll tell you what guys, we may not be in a Jazeera crater, but there's some cracking rock samples around here. Look at all these rocks. What do you think, Jack? Hey, this is a cracking sight, mate. We've got just about all the rocks we need now. Right, time to fix the ship. Let's get back to Earth. Alright, Jack, here's the situation. We got the rocks, we fixed the rover. Now let's try and re-establish communications with Mission Control. Hey, up, oh, I agree with you, Teddy. Let's give it a try, eh? What's that? I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Perseverance, Perseverance, this is Mission Control. Is this you? Over. Mission Control, this is Perseverance. Can you hear us? Perseverance, this is Mission Control, receiving you loud and clear. Thank God you're okay. I've even lost my sunglasses and all the excitement. Oh, excellent, pal. Excellent. So glad we got our comms back. Perseverance, please give me an update with regards to damage status and mission completion. Over. Well, as expected, we sustained some damage when we crash landed. But as we all know, Beef of Wheat is the best pilot in the business. So there weren't too much damage and we were able to fix the craft. Also, we didn't land in the Jazeera crater, but we landed somewhere just next to it. And they've got some brilliant rock samples. Look at all of them. That is indeed excellent. It seems to me that you've crash landed in a place that was actually better than the Jazeera crater for finding these rocks. And it's great to hear that the ship's good soon. Alright, we're ready to welcome you home. Please return to Earth as soon as you can. Over. Will do, Mission Control. Will do. Alright, Beef of Week, let's find a good spot where we can take off. Why have you stopped? What, you found Beaver of the Week? Well, we best go investigate then. Come on. It's still going to take us nine months to get back to Earth. A couple of hours delay ain't going to do them too much harm. Let's go. Well, this is a really strange place to find the station. What do you see, Jack? I don't know. Looks quite nice inside. There's some seats and a cafe and go. You ain't gonna believe this. What'd you see, Jack? What'd you see? It's Stanley Johnson, the Prime Minister's dad. What on earth are you doing in Mars? Well, he did say he was gonna ignore his son and do what he wanted, even if that did mean trying to find somewhere in Mars to have a drink. Right, this place is way too weird for me. Come on, let's get back to Earth. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He's told us not to blow it, cause he knows it's all worthwhile. He told it. let the children lose it. Let the children use it. Let all the children do get it.